Have you ever encountered something that acts as a solid and a liquid? Whereas under pressure, it behaves like a solid. However, when the pressure is released, it turns into a liquid. Is that even possible? Excellent question, which has a scientific explanation. Good day, fellow scientists. I am Princess Sophia, and today, I will explain the science behind non-Newtonian fluids. Before venturing into what a non-Newtonian fluid is, it is necessary to first define a Newtonian fluid. Most of us are familiar with Sir Isaac Newton, the brilliant scientist. He is renowned for his contributions to numerous scientific theories in mathematics and physics. Newton also researched the properties of fluids. He was specifically engaged in the viscosity of liquids. In simple terms, this is the measure of the fluid's resistance to flow. It describes the internal friction of moving fluid. It is commonly perceived as thickness or resistance to pouring. Newton derived from his work that the viscosity of a liquid was temperature dependent. As the liquid's temperature rises, its viscosity decreases and vice versa. Take honey as an example. Have you ever attempted to pour a cold honey? That's low, isn't it? The majority of us were taught that there are four states of matter. Solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Solids have a definite shape, mass, and volume. They do not conform to the shape of the container in which they are placed. Solids also have a high density, meaning that the particles are tightly packed together. In a liquid, the particles are more loosely packed than in a solid and can flow around each other, giving the liquid an indefinite shape. Therefore, the liquid will conform to the shape of its container. In a gas, the particles have a lot of space between them and have a high kinetic energy. A gas has no definite shape or volume. If unconfined, the gas particles will spread out indefinitely. If confined, the gas will expand to fill its container. Plasma is a state of matter similar to a gas but with charged atomic particles rather than neutral ones. In addition to materials that are easily defined as either solid, liquid, gas, or plasma, some substances aren't so easily categorized. Oobleck is one of these. It is named after the Dr. Seuss book Bartholomew and the Oobleck, which simultaneously has the properties of both a solid and a liquid. It is a type of substance called non-Newtonian fluid. Can you imagine that? Well, this is the most exciting part. The materials that we will be using can be found in the kitchen. All we need is a cornstarch, water, spoon, and a container. You can also add a food coloring to enhance the appearance of your oobleck. So, join me as we navigate the marvels of science by creating an oobleck. So the first thing we have to do is to mix one cup of cornstarch into one half cup of water in a bowl. If you would like to color your oobleck, add your food coloring into your water and then mix with the cornstarch. Continue mixing until the mixture reaches a honey-like consistency. If you find the mixture is a little too watery and not forming into a solid when you pull the oobleck out of your bowl, then add a little more cornstarch. 
If you find the mixture is not dripping like a liquid, add a little more water. Just keep experimenting until you get the right consistency of oobleck. Take a spoon and hit the top of the oobleck quickly. Instead of splashing everywhere, the particles lock together. You'll notice the spoon or utensil will bounce off, giving the appearance that the oobleck is a solid. This is because the pressure forces the cornstarch particles together, increasing the oobleck's viscosity. Now, try to move slowly into the oobleck with your spoon, and this will allow the particles to move out of the way which will let you dip it into the oobleck. Pick up the oobleck with your hands and form a ball. You can roll it into a solid ball in your hand, but if you stop moving it, it reverts to liquid and oozes out through your fingers. In this case, the oobleck's viscosity or resistance to flow increases with applied stress. In the absence of pressure, oobleck looks and feels like a liquid. But when pressure is applied, it looks and feels like a solid. If you slowly push your finger into a container of oobleck, your finger will glide in until you touch the bottom. But if you pound on the surface of the oobleck quickly with your fist, the oobleck will resist your fist and it will feel like you're hitting a soft solid. Once you are done, do not pour the oobleck down the sink. It could easily form a solid plug in your pipes. Instead, dispose the oobleck in a trash can or you can keep it in a container or a sealable bag to play with it later. Let us now dig deeper and investigate what happened. Oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid, a fancy term for a liquid whose viscosity changes depending on pressure. As mentioned earlier, Viscosity is the measure of friction in a liquid and determines how fast or slow a liquid flows. Most liquids have what we call consistent viscosity. For instance, honey and water will always flow the same no matter how you pour or press them at a constant temperature. Oobleck, on the other hand, does not have consistent viscosity. If you apply pressure to it, it forms a solid, loosens the pressure, and it melts back into a liquid. Because the viscosity changes, it is classified as a non-Newtonian fluid. Shear thickening liquids increase in viscosity as stress increases. Oobleck isn't the only that behaves like this. The human body, in fact, contains such a shear thickening non-Newtonian fluid that coats the knee and the elbow joints called synovial fluid. It has a low viscosity under normal circumstances, allowing for easy joint movement. However, when you smack your knee or elbow, the fluid thickens, protecting your joints. On the other hand, shear thinning liquids decrease in viscosity as stress increases. An example of this is ketchup. I'm pretty sure you've encountered the difficulty of pouring a ketchup from a bottle when it appears to be stuck at the bottom. What did you do? Most likely, you pounded on the ketchup's bottle with your hand. In this case, the viscosity of the ketchup decreases and it becomes runnier as a result of applied stress. Trivia time! Did you know that the quicksand is also a shear thinning non-Newtonian fluid? As pressure is applied to quicksand, it becomes more fluid. So if you ever find yourself stuck in a quicksand, avoid thrashing about as it will only cause you to sink faster. Thank you for being with me today, fellow scientists. I hope you learned something. Who knows? We can be the next Filipino scientist who can positively impact the world. Once again, this is Frances Sophia 
Until next time, bye!